following episode three literally within two minutes. I can't fucking believe it. It's finally been proven. The investigation has concrete fucking evidence. Now, this isn't necessarily esports related, but coming from Vegas, me and gambling intertwined. I don't actually gamble because I know all the odds of everything and such, but like I followed the illegal betting sites in Korea 15 years ago. I've, dude, I know so much. I get approached here in Vegas about esports gambling and stuff on occasion in my consulting business. I'm not going to go into all of that, but I've always said for these streamers, they get different fucking roll values they get different odds at unlocking legendary or epic or whatever the fuck it is and it's cheap i mean it it's a huge misrepresentation the other thing that happens is like the a company will show like 10 items on a roll chance that you could get implying it's one out of 10 for each and like it's legendary epic epic rare rare uncommon uncommon and then all commons well the commons have 99 percent chance the uncommons have you know less than one and it's just it's one out of a million to get the legendary but these streamers fucking hit it and three rolls in they get a legendary and epic and a rare and it's like the actual odds of that happening are a billion plus to one but they fucking get it and they get it consistently and Valve's been caught. I just had a whole fucking show on how shitty Valve is. Valve's been caught manipulating and lying about the odds. They're fucking human trash. Um, and now uh, it's coming out that streamers that are being told, "Hey, open these loot boxes in this order." They're it's they're rigging it. They're making it appear, "Oh, it's so easy to get this ledge. Oh, it's so easy." No. These fucking companies, and everyone is, not everyone, but some people have said this for a really long time, that all this loot crate and loot box and all of it, it's all fucking rigged, and these streamers are getting separate fucking odds, separate roll chances, and finally, finally, where the fuck is it? Yeah, this is the actual thing. The FTC loot box workshop raises questions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the article I'm reading is on Polygon, Chris... I'm going to, uh, you may or may not want to be associated with the show, but I'm going to name you anyway. Christopher Laporte, uh, thank you for sharing this. Um, this is the first concrete evidence that I've seen where a company admits, yes, we've given beneficial root, uh, uh, loot chances or, or roll chances, whatever the fuck you want to call them, to streamers. It's intentional deceit. Um, that company should be fined out of existence. Uh, they should be forced to close down. It's fraud. They're committing fraud. The people that put this into action should be behind bars. Um, I mean, if you cheat in a casino 50 years ago, they'd kill you or break your legs. And I kind of like that. Um, to me, this is basically the same thing. Uh, you're fuck, but you're cheating people. Like you're the, uh, I'm not going to go into the whole now. It's, it's not a great analogy. The point is they're screwing people out of money. It's absolute fraud. Valve's been caught doing something like this on multiple occasions. Year after year, they do the same thing. And year after year, everyone's like, are you fucking kidding me? And their people haven't gone to jail. I think they should. And the people in here, it's not really the streamer's fault. They shouldn't do it. Um, but it's the company's uh, the streamers, uh, we could talk about whether or not they should go to jail for being involved. Um, the streamers may also not even know that the odds change. They might just be gifted loot boxes and they're just hitting open. They don't know the loot boxes are rigged. Um, so it'd be tough to go after the streamers. But any company that's ever fucking done this, I hope anybody that greenlit this project, anybody with any knowledge whatsoever, put them behind bars 10 to 20 years. Um, fuck. People uh, say I'm crazy. I am crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking crazy. But this type of validation is just, it's, I'm hard as a rock. It's so fucking good. And fuck all these loot crate or these companies that use loot crates or chests or whatever the fuck you have to open and that are misrepresenting their shit. Fuck them. We knew it was happening. Now there's fucking proof. Hard proof. The only company I think that we've we've had hard proof that they've fucked up is Valve. And Valve's like, oh, it was a mistake. No, it wasn't. You fucking cheated the system and we caught you. Fuck. This feels so fucking good. Anyway. I'll be looking more into this. Let me know if y'all want to want more on this. Um, 
I doubt it. I'll probably do other episodes on other things, but whatever. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye.